Hi guys, my name is Elva and today I'm going to take you through a tutorial of Nearpod. In this tutorial, you will be shown how to create a Nearpod and connect it to your Google Slides, as well as add a variety of features. The first step is to go ahead and go to Nearpod's website, which is nearpod.com. Once you do that, if you have not already created an account, that is what you will want to do. Nearpod has a lot of different features that can be utilized for the classroom. If you go to create and then click lesson or video or activity, you can create anything you need for your class. For example, if you click lesson, it opens up more of a cloud-based version of PowerPoint. You can add many different features on here, such as slides, um, slides classic, which is a blank slide, slideshow. You can even turn a PowerPoint into a Nearpod. You can upload a PDF file, sway, and even images and audio. To start, we're just gonna create a slide from scratch. And it looks like this. Now, if you scroll down on the side, you can find many different themes. Um, you can just choose whatever you like. I'm going to choose this one called Sky Deck. This is where you make whatever you want for your title side. I personally usually do notes. So I am just going to type in China vocabulary specifically for our DBQ as an example. Now, just like PowerPoint, it'll automatically regulate itself. And then after you type your title, you just type anything you need to into this box. Once you are done making any changes to the slide, you click save. It'll say it saves, but while that's saving, you can go ahead and create your next one. For the next one, let's go ahead and go to some of the interactive features. One really nice thing that Nearpod has included is vocabulary videos. Let's go to Nearpod 3D. Once you click Nearpod 3D, it has many different applications you can use. You can look up an animal cell, the auditory system, Aztec temple. Let's go ahead and click on plant cell and click save. Now that is added in there as well. You can add any content you want on here and it'll be so, so simple for your class. You can even take virtual field trips or do any simulation with math and science. In addition to giving basic content, Nearpod also has quizzes and other interactive features like fill in the blank where students just click and drag. They can draw it. Time to climb is a favorite among students. This is where you create your own little quiz and they get to play a game. You can choose one of these over here, such as map skills. And it automatically gives you the question. It says a blank indicates a relationship between distances on the map and actual distances on earth. It gives your answers and that's it. If you click save, once again, it'll save. Once you are done with your entire lesson, you wanna make sure to give it a name. I'm going to name mine example and click save and exit. Once it's ready, you can click live participation, which allows students to look along with you on the Nearpod, or you can do student paste, which is more of a homework assignment. But once you click live participation, a code will pop up and then students can just join. You can also copy the link, email it, or put it on Google Classroom. If you are a co-teacher or have a co-teacher, 
There's also the option to add a co-teacher on there so they can also control what students are seeing. One other great feature for Nearpod is actually not on Nearpod itself. For this one, you will want to go to Google and you want to type in Nearpod Chrome extension. You want to go to the Google Chrome website where you can download any extension and click add to Chrome. And then you can just click add extension. And once it's done, you'll see it popped up where all your extensions are. So if you click the puzzle piece and you scroll down, you can see Nearpod for Classroom. Now, once you click on that, it just takes you to basic Nearpod, but this is where the cool stuff comes into play. If you are somebody that loves Google Slides and wants to use Nearpod, but you're kind of hesitant because you don't get as much creativity as you can on Google Slides, there's no need to worry. You can create your Google Slides presentation and it can be converted into a Nearpod. For example, if I take this copy of Unit 4 for China, I have fixed everything the exact way I want it, but I want to put it into Nearpod now. Well, you absolutely can. All you have to do now that that extension is put into Google Chrome is click extensions. Then you just go down to Nearpod and click open Nearpod. Once the sidebar loads, you can add any extension you want from Nearpod right onto your Google side. I'm going to put an example of a field trip. You can just type in anything. For example, I'll type in China and it takes me to a bunch of different places. You click whatever you want, click done, and it automatically adds it to a slide for you. Just like that. Now, it might look a little weird because it doesn't have the actual program on there. You click save and go to Nearpod. And then it automatically saves and loads up for you. Now that it has loaded, I'm going to show you what it looks like during a live participation. This is my title slide and it might take a minute or so for the virtual field trip to load up because it is very heavy. Once in, students can just click and drag to view their surroundings. This is a fun way for students to be able to experience other places that they might not be able to go. One other cool thing is if you decide you wanted to add something else, you have the option to do that. So you would just go back to your Google site, say you wanted to add a quiz. You just go back to extensions, you click Nearpod, and then it tells you, wait, your lesson might have an active code or be in your public library. For this, if you want to make changes, you just click edit this lesson and then it'll let you continue. So if you want to make any type of quiz, you can make an extended question. You can do anything you want with this. Here's the quiz button. My example question will be, what country are we learning about? And then you can just add your answer choices. Mine will be China or Japan. You specify the correct answer and then click save. Once you're done making additional changes, you just once again click save and go to Nearpod. I hope you got plenty of useful information and can make your own lessons very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.